Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fighting 4 Kaiser. So, we are currently at War of the Fighting Government. We're doing, I would say, okay. I mean, we're, we're still worried that Japanese will intervene, which they absolutely will eventually. I just don't know when. We're going to send you to... Let's just send you here for now. Let's kind of see what the Japanese are up to. What do we need? We, we still need more artillery pieces. Bring artillery in. And in about 10 days, we're going to get a naval dockyard here. That dockyard will allow us to get more supplies for our units in the field. Which I will be uh, very, very happy to see. We're missing 600 artillery pieces. 300 rifles and about 1,000 manpower. So it's really just the artillery that we actually we definitely do need. We got 74. Bring more units up north. Again, we do another dockyard here. So I can connect these together at some point. That would be nice. Again, there's a dot, there's a railroad, but it goes through, it's, um, goes through here, which unfortunately we don't have access to. I'm pretty sure we're blocked from using that railroad. We'll set it up like this for now. Again, we can take this port as well. That, that will be very, very nice. Keep on sending more and more units into the field. Yellow army, keep on pushing. I want you... I mean, what you're doing is okay. I mean, we actually, we're going to take a couple of their northern cities, so... I mean, it still kind of works out for us. Yeah, but in two days, uh, we'll have another dockyard. That should get supplies up here. These units will no longer be in the red. And there we go. Now that they got supplies, you guys are absolutely fricked. Green army, I think it's time for you to start pushing again. Just a normal battle plan, though. Nothing nothing more than that right now. Okay, so you're worth one. Where's your next... I mean, after that, it really is just your capital. You got one up here. You got one over there. It leaves you on the international. Nothing too surprising. I mean, if I could encircle this army, crush all of them, there might not be any troops to actually stop us in the future. So there's another port, which means these guys have even less supplies. I think, like, what I would like to do... Door 1, 2... Like, if I can somehow link this stuff up... Like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like this... Bring blue line to just be here. Green army, I kind of want you... I kind of don't want you to be attacking right now. I mean, if you can take these two areas, I'd be happy with it. Don't get me wrong. But I think what I want to do is try to get, like, this weird encirclement thing that I'm kind of wanting to get done to work. Which I believe I can get to work. It'll just be a little awkward. Okay, you're already moving your way up. Because again, we get this in circle, we crush all of these Fenian government troops. There will be literally nobody left in Manchuria to stop us. And at that point, we rush towards their major victory point. The Japanese will intervene. But if there's no Fenian government troops to stop us, the Japanese on their own are honestly not much of a threat. This also is another supply hub, so I wouldn't mind taking that from you. Bring you guys here. Actually, if you connect like this, you do actually. Okay. So I want you here. I want you moving one tile up. I want you moving here. And also get rid of this, because... Um, Having a spearhead invasion is not what we want. Keep these guys pressured. Get rid of my phone notification there. You'll be there one day, four hours. We'll be there in three days. I mean, we can push here as well. That's that's kind of fine for us. But I just want this encirclement. Because again, as soon as these units are killed... This has to be majority of the Fenian government army. I can't imagine they have too much past this. Okay, you're going to try to push us. That's not going to work. I want you still to be attacking this way. 
I want you moving up north. Blue army, I actually do want you to be attacking. Want to get here somehow. Move up like this. That's right, I could have worn Sardinia. Wait, wait, they, does that mean that, um... That's the Entente, right? It is. So the International and the Entente are going to be actually going to war very early, even before the Second Vilkree. That might... Is that considered the Second Vilkree in terms of game mechanics? I don't know. Okay, you'll be there in one day. Again, I want to keep pressure on you. Keep our forces in the field fighting. When are you going to be there? 15 hours. When would you be there? Four hours. Now you'll be there one hour. You'll be there probably in zero hours. Oh, two days. Okay, so that did work out for us. And yeah, this encirclement is going, it's doing what I wanted it to do. Yellow army, I'm going to be honest, I think you just hold position. There's no reason to waste lives or any material doing this. Give you one more. Again, just get Port Arthur cut off from the rest of China. 8%. Bring units up north. I want to push predator on you. Sixty-seven. Keep pushing. I think some units are definitely escaping, which I don't want to happen. But I mean, it is a little inevitable that would be the case eventually. Do we have any more supply ups again? We have one here. We really, what I want to do is, we just want to avoid taking Shenyang for as long as we can. But again, I'm pretty sure it's definitely one of the triggers for Japanese intervention. 60%. Bring units up north, please. Bring you around. Keep pressure up. We got 7, 6. Like, there are a lot of units trapped here. Right now, we've lost 45 to 85,000. Those are numbers I like to see. Again, we're going to push in little by little. Like, just, just, just the doorsteps of the city... But really nothing more than that. When will you be there? You'll be there in four days, 19 hours. You're moving your way over towards this side, which is okay. I don't know, honestly, if being connected towards Port Arthur is a Japanese trigger. Or bordering Japan in any way might be a Japanese uh, intervention trigger. It's entirely possible. No more units going up here. I still want you to pressure where you can. Eighty-seven. Okay, so you'll be there in two hours. These units now are in totally encircled. And once again, once these units in here are dead, then we push our way through Manchuria as quickly as possible. You're retreating inwards, which means that you're now encircled. guys around here. I mean, Shen Yang is completely open. Like, it's completely exposed. Eighty-nine percent. Negative sixty-three. I mean, they have a lot of units. So I'm not surprised that it's going to be difficult to actually completely dislodge them. Wait, does this not... Is your worthy on taunt? Is that actually not a major event? Huh. Also, Greece has done the decision where they're going to try to invade the Ottoman Empire. Well, we'll see how that goes for them. Four units here. And slowly pushing our way through. Where are you? 
Why? No, you stay where you're at. I don't even know how I selected you. Again, don't enter the city. Get right, right to the border and then enter the city. And how are you guys up here doing? You're fine. How close are they actually? They're halfway dead. At 59%, you are worth 30. I know there's some more. Yeah, Harbin up here is worth a decent amount as well. I believe Ward Observers, I think, is the final one we need for army reform. Yes, it is. So that will completely finish our army. Absolutely fantastic. And we just bring everybody in here. All of you deploy onto the front lines. Anyone that we see that's completely exposed? Not really, honestly. Two units here. Surprisingly, they don't actually want to move units into the capital, which I find a little bit surprising. Also, I've not taken your airport yet. I would like to take your airport. But that encirclement is now completed. 310,000 Fatnian government uh, casualties. At most, they have 21 divisions right now. At most, they have 21 troops. So if that's the case, we're gonna get our units to redeploy. How are, how actually, how are supplies? I think Red Army, time for you to deploy right here. Again, just ready to go into Korea ASAP, because I know Japan's gonna be intervening soon. There's no denying that. But I want I mean, what if we get up to Harbin fast enough? And then take both cities back to back before the Japanese can, inter can even intervene. It's possible they have no legitimacy. Okay, they have three divisions in Port Arthur. We we'll want to keep a small token force on this border where we can. Now that we have this airport, we can move our fighters. And you know, we can even move our bombers as well. Move everybody into this airport so they can get better coverage. Because you're worth three. And I would like to take the city ASAP. Green army, though, you are going to be focused more over to here. Blue army can deal with this situation on their own. There, okay, I was going to say, there's a supply hub. It's right here. And with that, I'm going to build a railroad connecting this here. Getting that ready. And actually, they're going to leave their troops up here a little bit more exposed. Question, of course, is when is Japan going to intervene? It's going to happen eventually. Like, that much is certain. It will happen. question really is just a when, not an if. But if I can, if I can capitulate them around the, what are you worth? You're worth one. Any government right now is at 54%. This, these two cities are 45 victory points between the two. I'm pretty sure... You are a piece of shit. Up here. I want you to be being built first. Yeah, get that all ready to go. Integrate more territory. Okay, but you four need to be on Port Arthur. We need a we need an army ready to go there ASAP. And I want you just I'm not in Harbin, just next to Harbin. And I bet you if I can time this properly, we might be able to march our way into Harbin and march our way into Shenyang at the exact same time. It will not be easy. Don't get me wrong. Ninety percent. Ninety-nine percent. Guys, stay here. You stay here. So if I was to move you here, how long would that take? 
three days, eight hours. How long would this take? Two days, one hour. Okay, let's wait 24 hours. One day, two hours. Okay, never mind. The time has definitely changed. Two days, one hour. You're going to take one hour? Probably because you're connected again. One day, two hours. Two days, one hour. I'm going to slow the time down a little bit. Twenty hours, nineteen hours, eighteen hours. Well, until it says one day, two hours, and then I should be theoretically able to attack both cities at the exact same time. If this works out, how I think it'll work out. They should enter Harbin and, and Shenyang at the exact same moment, capitulating them before Japan can intervene. Maybe. Where are you going to fall back to? Also, yeah, go back to the speed five. I don't know what the trigger is. It might be literally instantaneous, which will make this irrelevant. I mean, actually, no, it wouldn't, because they would still capitulate, like, right away. Assuming that 45... If one... Four, five. Well, there's five victory points. So there's 50 in total, and these two will be 45 out of 50. Okay, they do intervene instantaneously. But once we take Harbin, Penny Garment should collapse. Do you join the Close of Parity Fear immediately? You don't. Yeah, now you're going to be dead in midnight. Okay. So push our way into Port Arthur. Call everybody into the war. Thank you. Losing my mind. Okay. Enter, get all this done. Military factories will upgrade you. Following that, we still need more artillery pieces. Get those going. Do you have any good officer? No, we don't have a lot of political power for that. But at midnight, okay. Red Army, your job now is to push your way into Korea. As aggressively as humanly possible, push away in that direction. Penny government, of course, is going to collapse right away. That is exactly how I planned that going. Fantastic. The Red Army now. You got to stretch out over Korea. Green Army, I need you here. Blue Army, you also need to be, let's say, around here. The thing is, we're never going to be able to invade Japan. We have... Maybe one submarine. We have one World War One era submarine. An invasion is out of the question. We just need to get the fall of the... Let's claim Jap uh, Chinese observer rights. We just need the fall of the Japanese Empire, or whatever that event is called. Oh, Ukraine declared independence and now getting invaded by Russia. That's going to really weaken the Germans. We'll see, we'll see how that goes for them. Again, we're, we're ready to go. Okay, I do not want your units, but I appreciate the offer. Thing is that you're now at war, Japan, with all of China with actual, absolutely no foothold. How many units we got here? Four. I want nine units on this. Oh, no, I want. Yeah, I want you moving and then strategically redeploy, strategically redeploy. Red Army strategically redeploy. Get to the front line ASAP. But I do want the push on Port Arthur going as much as possible. Air superiority, I'm assuming the Japanese probably have a significantly larger air force than I do because I have, like, 100 planes. Yeah. So due to their overwhelming air superiority... I mean, they haven't deployed the aircraft yet. I mean, that's something. I think I want everybody being very aggressive. I don't know if Japan's going to throw their entire army into Korea. I think they might. We need supplies up here. No, we just got the rail. We just need the railroads all being connected properly. But now we're faction leader. We own Beijing. We need to be at peace. But after that, we just need to get you and you finished. Which is actually how many days is that? You're 49. One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine. So nine focuses. That's about a year, I want to say. Give or take a year. Okay, let's capture uh, Korean supply depots. Keep on pushing to Port Arthur as fast as we can. So I think we need Port Arthur. We need to own both sides of the Korean Peninsula. Honestly, it's not that complicated. We integrate more and more territory. The thing is, we're actually getting like no political power gain now due to all of our integrations. But I mean, the army is ready to go. Go to Pyongyang and then to Seoul. So again, you're not core, you're occupied states. Economic ties and assistance to Hunan. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? I see, I see no reason not to. And I want you moving down towards here. Deal with these Japanese tank divisions. Get their supply hub. We might end up killing like, a lot of Japanese troops. Like, really, the Japanese army, is it's not that large. 71 at most. We've got 101 divisions in our entire faction. I have not even trained a new unit in years, I think, at this point in the game. Are you staying there or are you moving? You're moving. We can get an encirclement on this one Japanese division. Take a look at air superiority. They are absolutely going to kick our ass. Fly into Korea, see if we can get done there. 94, 70%. You just get some small encirclements. That's that's really what we're looking for. And naval invasion. But again, that's why we have purple army ready to go for a naval invasion. Also, yellow army. You just assist purple for now and occupy more uh, areas where they might land. So again, Japanese naval invasions, I actually kind of welcome it. I'd almost prefer them to naval invade us. Then, what else they're doing? You're not core. Well, I'm assuming you're not core. Build more stuff down here. So should be fine. Reese is capitulated. Okay. And grab their supply depot. You guys don't want to move your way straight to Pyongyang. Same with you. This might be open for you to march your way through. Yeah, but the Entente... I mean, the thing is, there's still a war with the with the other various American factions. I, I can't see them surviving against the International. Okay, we're actually we're past 75% of world tension, so the second victory could happen soon. I don't know if it will, but it could. Seven percent. Poor Arthur has fallen to our forces. Fantastic. Again, we're just gonna we're just gonna land our planes. No reason to even try to attempt to be able to defeat Japanese air superiority. It's just not gonna happen. Again, I would like to supply depot, supply hub, please, and also get willing to get an encirclement of five Japanese divisions. Right now, we're also at 18,000 against 40,000, so the numbers are already looking good for us. We can capture more, air, uh, more railroads. We got Pyongyang, Seoul is one, Busan is one, we just got one here and here as well. Okay, small, tiny, two, two Japanese divisions to recommend okay. But I would like to get this and then connect it to our railroad network. For obvious reasons. Okay, make sure these troops are dead. I'm just gonna assign you into Red Army and you're just gonna move your way down towards Seoul. Crush these divisions. You move here, you move here. Yeah, I'm not sure I would like to deploy the Air Force somewhere. It's just not gonna happen. But with the war against Japan on the way, I think this is going to be a good time for us to uh, end this episode. So thanks to everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you did not enjoy, close thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.